Thank you, thank you very much for your uh, introduction. <coughs> as, uh, as I was introduced, uh, I'm a managing director at the company Modpack. We are from uh, Croatia, and uh, that's why we can speak today a little bit about the custom packaging and unboxing experience. Um, before we start uh, into the topics, uh, I would just like to say a few words about our company. Um, as I said earlier, it's simple. We produce e-commerce and courier packaging. Um, our family company is involved in packaging for roughly 36 years. And uh, in the last couple of years, uh, we focused on e-commerce packaging as, as you all know very well, uh, one of the fastest growing uh, industries. Um, maybe uh, one of the points that's rare manufacturers is having and we have and this is a complete process of production in-house so we do from the extrusion printing uh, converting um, not many manufacturers uh, can uh, say that and uh, maybe one of the biggest uh, advantages of our, our factories is that we do with the recycling uh, from early 90s and today we became uh, one of the biggest uh, recycling uh, company in Southeast Europe with uh, reaching nearly 10,000 tons of the recycled post-consumer and post-industrial uh, waste uh, in total. As, as you can see, we are supplying um, many big, big names in, in Europe, but also I always like to emphasize that we are very much focused uh, and dedicated to our smaller customers, smaller volumes, uh, startups, etc., uh, etc. Et As in our company, we have designers who are helping, so it's very important for us as well. As you might know and you might learn uh, maybe on, on today's uh, event, that uh, it's uh, becoming more and more, uh, it's becoming more and more expensive uh, to acqu uh, acquire um, a new customer than uh, to keep the existing one. So we should use all the tools that we are having available to, to keep the customers ongoing with the, with the orders and uh, uh, become a re re repeating, uh, repeating customer for us. Uh, marketing costs are growing, social media and uh, all the other tools uh, are getting more uh, expensive. So it's, it's rather let's work on what we have today and to keep the customers uh, going up with, 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 the, with the orders uh, and things like that. So one of the most underutilized uh, uh, marketing tools is the, is the packaging. And so I will show you later on some slides that uh, there are some statistics that show that, that the packaging is uh, completely underestimated uh, in, in terms of uh, reaching, the, uh, reaching the, the, the experience uh, with the customer. When the customer is... Uh, can I have uh, the slides on the screen as well? Just uh, here as well. It's okay. It's okay. I will. I will. Uh, I will. I will manage. Uh, so it's very important for for uh, for all of us who are participating in uh, e-commerce industry to to exceed uh, the, the expectation that our customers are having. And uh, a few days ago, I heard that someone said that the, the Customers are getting more and more demanding, are, are getting spoiled, uh, spoiled in general. So, so we must use the, all the tools to make uh, the customer delighted and that buying that product is the right decision for them. And as I said earlier, to, uh, to, to uh, make them a repeating customer that will, that will uh, uh, be loyal to, to our brand. Um, there are some statistics uh, here showing uh, what are the important, but I, I would emphasize the one that is saying that the repeat customers have a higher average 
order uh, value, which is uh, uh, which is uh, something that should motivate us uh, to work uh, to work on, on on that trust with with uh, with uh, with, this, with our customers. And uh, custom packaging is is the tool that is uh, that is important, as I said earlier. Um, why do we need the custom packaging? Um, the first point, and for in my opinion, the most important one, is that um, we are shipping 55% of air in every parcel that we uh, ship. And on the next slide, you will see that uh, we in Europe are shipping roughly 5 billion parcels in one year only within the Europe. So uh, I would emphasize not only in terms of financial uh, cost saving uh, 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 motivations, but also in terms of environment impact, um, uh, sustainable development, all of us, because as you know, uh, the industry is growing so fast, so we must take this responsibility also in terms of uh, impact on the environment. If we are shipping 55% uh, in each box, which statistics is proving, I mean, we are not doing uh, such a good job. With the custom packaging, you, you can uh, reduce uh, um, even the cost of 40%, but we can reduce this impact and decrease the number of trucks, the number of planes, number of transport means that are driving all around uh, the globe, but I'm speaking here about Europe in, in general. It's uh, also very important to say that 10% of Packages uh, shipped uh, within the Europe are uh, getting to the destination to be uh, damaged. So we should use focus more on, on uh, customizing the packaging for that uh, certain product uh, to reach uh, to avoid uh, such such a situations. And I'm very sorry to hear that, uh, but it, it's it's got an opportunity for our company uh, to see that 60% uh, of packages have no any kind of uh, branding so um, it's a pity it, it must be used uh, uh, it must be used more uh, it, it, of course the custom packaging improves the brand uh, in image customer customer loyalty uh, as i mentioned earlier uh, we in europe uh, we are shipping 5 billion parcels in each year i don't know the statistics for the world but I can imagine that is it's quite quite a big number, same as uh, this one is. And uh, last year, 446 million people uh, have, uh, bought uh, online, uh, which is the number that is uh, growing over 10% uh, uh, each year. Of course, uh, the, the functionality is one of the basics uh, for, for the packaging, and these are some questions that we that we sum up uh, with our customers. And one of the first question is. Uh, will it arrive to my customer safely? Of course, this is uh, highest priority. But uh, what about an opening and boxing? And will the people have the experience? But also, when the packager arrives, all of our customers are trying to uh, to make the packaging in a way that is uh, shared on social media. Uh, later on, I will speak a little bit about the brand ambassadors and what we can do. Uh, so, yes, it, it's a function, attraction, promotion and differentiation on the market as, as, as well. Uh, maybe you know this number, it, it's quite popular that we are uh, in, on average in 10,000 messages uh, uh, receive every day. Uh, what to do and how to reach uh, to stand up from that crowd. Um, I will not teach you about the branding. I'm sure many of you know it uh, very well, but uh, in my opinion, it's very important to make your brand shine, that stands out from the crowd, and people like to share good-looking uh, uh, things. Um, it's very important to, uh, be, uh, to understand that uh, the impression is made in the first seven seconds of, uh, of this uh, experience, that when they receive the boxes, the unboxing experience. So you must go with uh, customize, uh, customizing your packaging to reach uh, these tools. Speaking about the technical uh, aspects of the packaging, um, in our factories we, we produce um, mainly uh, e-commerce e boxes, e-commerce bags as, as the two key uh, uh, products, but uh, they are uh, different kind of envelopes, uh, protective materials, packing tapes, uh, personalized labels and things like that. So options are huge uh, in, in boxes, different kind of materials, flutes, types, closing, openings and things like that. For the bags, uh, before we have been producing it, uh, 
generally from the virgin material that must be shiny, it must be beautiful, it must be um, as shiny as possible. Uh, in the last five years, the, the philosophy is changing. Uh, the, all the customers want to have recycled material as much as possible. And I can say that we are, produ we, we are producing uh, materials out of 100% uh, uh, recycled uh, material. Uh, which is also uh, one of uh, one of the advantages. Uh, products doesn't need to be so shiny as they have been before. They can be a little bit uh, rough. They can have a little bit of dots. They don't they don't mind that the customer like that the product is uh, recycled, that is environment uh, uh, friendly, and, and things like that. So it, the, the trends are changing, and, and and according to the trends, we are following uh, uh, our our uh, internal technologies uh, to to be on that. I will not tell you about uh, the the other possibilities, but I can just tell you that they are they are very very big ones. Uh, here are just some artworks that we that we uh, uh, put on on a big pile uh, from the bags, uh, uh, boxes, tapes, um, uh, tissue papers, stickers, uh, and uh, yeah, the, the 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 as you as you might know. Uh, I don't understand why the 60% only, or the, or the 40% only of the of the packages today are customized because there are so many there are so many possibilities up to eight color prints, uh, um, different materials, uh, sizes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But I think uh, the industry was developing so fast that people have didn't manage maybe have time to to focus on the packaging, but. Certainly, our company is growing over over 15% every year. So obviously, it's 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 coming uh, to be an important uh, aspect. Here on this slide, we didn't want to put uh, any any wording, uh, uh, but we want to emphasize that we have big responsibility. We who produce the packaging, but also uh, all of us who are participating in, in the industry. If we ship five million parcels. Per year, per, per, per year, it's uh, quite a lot of uh, packaging. Um, luckily uh, for, for, for us, uh, in early 90s, 1991, we started uh, to, to be active in, in the recycling uh, uh, industry. Uh, and what, what do we do in these uh, terms is that we are trying to, to, uh, to uh, minimize the, 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 the number of parcels with, with the customers in terms of reducing the, 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 the package. Uh, but also uh, we are trying to have all the products uh, produced out of uh, recycled materials. Together with the German uh, VSF uh, company, uh, already 10 years ago, we are one of the first who started to produce the products out of uh, 100% biodegradable uh, materials based on, on cornstarch. And there's also in these terms uh, many, many uh, options. Uh, today on, on our stand, uh, I had a couple of visitors who asked me, maybe you should uh, think that you are, uh, I know, you are creating a lot of packaging uh, and you are creating quite a big impact on the environment. I said yes, but um, uh, responsibilities in all of us. Uh, people are uh, buying uh, uh, products; must be packed uh, to to be shipped. I mean, we must uh, first of all. Our, our our biggest priority is recycling. So uh, I can proudly say that uh, we recycle 40% more than we supply on the market, which makes our conscious uh, calm because we deliver roughly 6,000 tons of, of, the, of the product per year and we recycle 10,000 tons. So uh, I think and our highest priority was always the recycling. And then we have the alternative materials, uh, biodegradable uh, um, and more sustainable with less glue, etc., etc. So we have big responsibility. We don't run away from it, but we all must participate uh, to minimize the impact on the, on the, on the environment, of course. Yeah, this is one slide. Uh, after sales means, yeah. Just showing that we are just a number, of course, uh, but it's not so, not so, not so big thing. Uh, unboxing experience. Uh, 
yeah, it's very important uh, and becoming uh, um, more, more, a more important uh, uh, part of the process, buying process uh, for uh, all uh, uh, e-commerce uh, participants. Uh, next slide. This will be funny, so don't uh, don't uh, laugh so much. There is one. Uh, there is one uh, Austrian uh, researcher. Uh, Helena, I forgot the surname, she wrote a book that uh, uh, packaging is seduction. And uh, she said that, uh, <laughs> I mean, it's a little bit over, over uh, how to say, um, exaggerating uh, the, 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 the point of unboxing, etc. But she said that it's an essential act of unboxing. Layer by layer, we embark on the voyage of discovery until we finally reach the product in a way comparable to erotic pleasure of uh, Undressing, I, it's a little bit too much maybe saying about the unboxing experience, but on the other hand, it's, it's, it's quite a true. We need to reach this emotional uh, touch uh, with, the, with, the, with the end users to, uh, to keep this uh, uh, brand uh, experience uh, improved, uh, to create a customer loyalty and to, to have uh, repeating orders. That, that is our, one, of our, uh, one of the main goals. Um, it's also very important to, to we will come up to the all online uh, rating of uh, of our all our customers who are participating in the, the industry and uh, to be successful in 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 the other term of of of, of uh, social social media power there's one uh, good uh, research that shows that 60% uh, of respondents uh, would share the product image of social media if the, if the product is looking appealing and 39% of respondents uh, already shared the, the picture or video of the new purchase in the post. So it's to make your brand uh, shareable, make your packaging uh, shareable. I mean, these are the numbers that are here. They, they are uh, true and we didn't uh, in invent them. Uh, speaking about the power of social media in numbers, um, yeah, this slide a little bit, uh, guys, the slide a little bit disappeared, but anyways, I know it by heart, it's meaning that uh, uh, the, the um, people have been asked, uh, would they... Uh, did, uh, do they uh, search for the product on social media before they make the purchase? And 64% of them, I think 64% of them confirmed that uh, yes, they are looking uh, this product before the purchase uh, on the social media. And uh, did the image or video affected on the purchase of that decision? And 61% of them, according to the dot com uh, distribution report, uh, it convinced them to purchase the product. It's also interesting that 10% uh, it's convinced not to purchase the product after they're searching, uh, researching it on, uh, on the social media. It's a pity not to use uh, the army of, of customers uh, buying every day uh, or, or uh, a half billion uh, people only in Europe to become your brand ambassadors. And uh, we are all aware that uh, that uh, how powerful this this tool uh, is, and the packaging is playing a, a very important role in uh, in in this uh, in these aspects, especially the phenomenon of unboxing uh, videos that are having sometimes millions of uh, views on the YouTube. Uh, it's it's become uh, a cult of following uh, sites uh, on the YouTube and. 55% uh, of people said that they ended up purchasing the product because of the video. Uh, that is, uh, the lady in first row don't, don't believe this. I don't know. It's it's a number that was <laughs> that was uh, uh, answered uh, on, on this question. Of course, I'm not saying that the packaging is enough uh, to make uh, your 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 customer completely satisfied. But uh, if your product is right and you match the right packaging, then the experience that you you made. Uh, like this satisfied lady, uh, the custom packaging necessary to make a memorable unboxing experience, while the memorable uh, unboxing experience is uh, important to make uh, your brand unforgettable, which is uh, the final, uh, final goal. Yes, right in time, 20 minutes, yeah. Now we have uh, some minutes to talk. Thank you very much. <laughs>
Thank you, thank you. I will say. Um, now we're going. Okay, so sure. yeah, like uh, thank you very much for like uh, talking about packaging, especially as a like an almost erotic experience. It is. I, it I is. can relate to that. Like if I order something new and you. You're looking, you're looking forward to opening. Do you get it's excited? The first moment. Do you get excited? I, d I definitely always get excited. Uh, yeah. like I could <laughs> so be like one then. of these Zalando uh, advertisements, <laughs> 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 which probably Good. a lot of people know. You, you know it. And uh, I'm sure like, um, to, like, to wrap up that whole day, there is one question. Thank sure. you very much. So I just uh, come in here. Yeah, thank you very much for the talk, first of all. Uh, my question would be if you guys are doing also the picking and packaging and the storage handling as well, or if you're just providing uh, the, the package, or the customized package. I didn't, uh, I didn't, uh, can you repeat once again? Are you doing the picking and packaging and the whole fulfillment process as well, or are you basically just pro providing no, the... We, we, we are maybe a little bit unusual speaker here today because we are factory manufacturer of uh, packaging, and this is what we do. So we are producing the packaging, uh, all of these that I mentioned uh, before, but we don't involve in the logistics in terms of uh, fulfillment, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So... Okay, thank you very much, that was the question. I, I hope I answered your question. So you're working business to business to create the packages which are then later delivered. Is that you're helping them to design the brand? On we the have internal designers who are helping the, the, the customer, potential customer, even startups to create uh, the, the artwork, the design, the perfect uh, packaging for the product. Yes. Okay. We are doing that as well. Yeah. Thank you. So more questions still? Yes. Okay. Question. No, um, my question was, uh, what is the minimal order for packaging? So thousands, ten thousands? For the uh, custom packaging? Yeah. It depends on the size, it depends on the product, but it's roughly 10,000 pieces, five to 10,000 pieces is the minimum for the customized uh, product. It depends, is it the box or the bag or, or something else, but uh, we are quite flexible in these terms. I mean, we are not a big corporation that is asking 100,000 pieces to start up. Yeah. Twice, not a, not a race. Some other up. questions? I feel, I feel so many questions. I don't know why people don't. Uh, well, I'm sure Maybe these guys in the second row, I think they, they look. No, they're just having no? a good time. No? <laughs> yes? No. Yes, okay. okay. Uh, one, yes. One la I think it has to be the last question, and then <laughs> I, let's see later. I was expecting this question. Thank you. Uh, I would like to ask what's your opinion to plastic versus paper boxes? Because actually, we have paper boxes now, and we are thinking about if we should move to plastic because of you know selling uh, cross board, so it's more easier. But yes. on the other hand, we feel that at this moment, it's maybe better to stay with paper once. Uh, paper boxes? Yeah. Are you in the fashion industry or? Uh, partly. Um, partly. We are specific. But so visit uh, or follow us on the social media and there's one report comparing the paper with the plastics. Okay. The impact is, it's quite a long story, so it's better that you check this analysis that we did, com paper versus... And if, uh, you, if you say how is it with your brands or your current customers, do they switch to paper because of this no plastic uh, time or... There is, there is no paper e-commerce bag because it's not water resistant uh, yeah. and, and, uh, but you don't need to run out uh, or run away from plastics because uh, if we go with the 100% recycled materials in plastics, it's very well uh, accepted on the market. Okay. And uh, answering your question, what, what others are doing, fashions, fashion that is flexible, uh, goods that are yeah. packed, are uh, majority, I don't know percentage, but maybe 90% or 80 is in, 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 uh, in the plastic. But they're all turning to recycled plastic. I okay. mean, which Thank is you. in our favor because we are doing... Yeah, that's uh, what we like. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Is there one last urgent question? Yes, okay. Please yes. be a little bit quick then because we're all looking forward. Oh. Uh, thank you, Jure, for your presentation. Uh, my question would be, uh, can you maybe mention some product that you produced which not only uh, raised the brand awareness of, the, of this brand, but also uh, managed to uh, help the, comp uh, the company to improve their uh, overall processes when it comes to packing? Because you made custom-made, I don't know, boxes or bags. 
Usually we don't like to speak about our customer brands in public very much, but uh, we are quite proud uh, producing for, a, for a big names like H&M and, and similar. There is there's the biggest Dutch uh, e-commerce shop that maybe most of us uh, know who it is, I don't, I don't want to say the name. Uh, they had a quite a lot of uh, uh, logistic issues, terming uh, the packaging process was uh, rather slow. Um, uh, average uh, packing uh, parcels per, per employee was rather low. So we worked together and uh, we make a special bag for them uh, that was uh, stacked in a block and uh, they worked on the tables and they improved uh, nearly 30% uh, all, the, all the logistic processes in, in, their, in, their, in their... I mean, it's in our, in our interest to have a satisfied customer and of course uh, it's interest that he is satisfied with our product and yeah. Do you have some question for me? I, I, I will, but uh, no? let's, let's do that later. Okay, okay. No, I think um, thanks for being highly interactive. Thanks for that interesting yes. talk and with that nice contemplative noise that sure. is like uh, putting me in a meditation mode. I really enjoy <laughs> it a lot. <laughs> I think we call it a wrap finally. And uh, sure. thanks everyone for coming to the Berlin Expo 2019.